Researchers have found a way past Apple's iOS app screening process thanks to tricky bits of code. A team at Georgia Tech built what looked like a harmless news app and submitted it to Apple's store for review. The app actually contained several bits of code that later assembled themselves into a functioning piece of malware, which they dubbed Jekyll. Once the app was installed on a phone and Jekyll had started running, it contacted a remote server, which allowed the researchers to issue commands and change the program's behavior on the fly. The team discovered, at least in the case of their app, Apple only runs new submissions for a few seconds to verify them before they're released to the App Store. One of the team members said, the message we want to deliver is that right now, the Apple review process is mostly doing a static analysis of the app, which we say is not sufficient because dynamically generated logic cannot be very easily seen. Jekyll could send text messages or tweets, control the phone's camera, steal data from the device's memory, or even attack other applications. Gizmodo reports the researchers downloaded the app and ran its attacks against their own devices, then deleted it from the store before anyone else had unwittingly infected themselves. This experiment took place in March, but the research team only presented its findings Friday at the USENIX computer conference in Washington, D.C. It's not known if Apple was informed of the app's true purpose before it was submitted for review. An Apple spokesperson says the company has since adjusted its app approval process, but declined to go into specifics. For Newsy, I'm Christian Bryant.